Yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy Drippy. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through some shooting techniques. So we all know what handheld filming is. At one point in our life, we all just picked up a camera, just walked around and filmed some stuff. One of the main techniques I use when shooting handheld is following the artist's movement. So if I see their hands moving one way, I might shift the camera with their hands. Another way of creating nice, interesting, dynamic shots. So what I like to do when I shoot rap music videos, I normally go for a lower angle. So what I do is I tilt the camera up at a 45 degree angle, helps them look larger than life. And that's what that angle helps us to capture. One that I've done recently, every time I'm hearing a sound effect in a song, I'm twisting the camera and then twisting it back to match the beat. I'll show you an example now so it makes sense. The kind of technique and the skill set with shooting handheld is endless. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is using a gimbal. So one of the techniques I like to use with a gimbal is the pushing in and out. And the pushing is actually a really great way to start a music video. So before the beat drops or the first line drops, take a couple steps back. So when the beat drops, you're running into the action and the artist starts rapping. So one way I like to mix up, I like to push in and then pan at the same time. And as I'm pushing out, I'm panning in the other direction. As the song tempo changes and the lyrics kind of change, you can kind of decide where you want to come in and out of the camera. Another way I like to use my gimbal is by getting those low shots. And I call this the slingshot. I'm able to pan the camera up and help really establish the artist. Another great thing you can do with a gimbal is hold it up high. And then I use the pan button on my gimbal to pan down so the camera's looking down at the artist. It really helps change up the music video because you're bringing in a new perspective, putting your camera on the car mount. So just imagine you're putting the camera on the tripod, but it's stuck to the car it's basically the same now for safety i normally find like a real secure place or even like a car park i can just get the artist driving around rapping and it's just another great way of changing up the pace of the music video i see a lot of people talking about car mounts but the one thing i don't think they talk about in regards to having a car mount and actually shooting through glass is having a cross polarization filter actually shooting through the glass might be a problem because there's going to be reflections but a cross polarization filter actually helps eliminate that by cutting out the light to the glass so your camera is able to see right through it here are some of my favorite tripod techniques that I use. I'm really a fan of taking the tripod up to its tallest point, down down at the artist and getting the artist to wrap down to the camera. I feel like it's just another great still static shot that you can take advantage of in post by adding the zoom ins and zoom outs. It's been a really short video. I wasn't actually going to put out a video. I want to drop a video until I eventually drop these effect tutorial videos. And once again, make sure to follow me on Instagram at drippyvisuals underscore just to keep up to date of what I'm doing. Don't forget to join the Discord of filmmakers, cinematographers, videographers, where we can all just talk and share our work. I hope this video has been informative. It's been your boy Drippy.